In this session, we are going to see how to create a profile or proposed profile on top of the profile view we created earlier. So uh, the proposed profile means currently we have the existing profile of the road underneath the alignment. So this is the existing one. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new alignment new vertical alignment or we call it new profile to uh, add to this road so to do that i am going to select this profile view and on the profile view you have profile creation tools i click here and it is asking whether what is the profile view name you are going to use so i will give you proposed profile as my name and if you need you can set a description and you have the label set and everything here we will see how to modify them later so i click ok now i am going to have a toolbar like this so like earlier so if you get a grayed out toolbar at the first place before you are creating anything on this profile view you have to close the drawing and reopen it uh, in that case once you are close the drawing and reopen it you cannot use the same name as the profile view sometimes you may have to use some other name so if you use the same name if you it will give you another uh, bracket here like prof first profile one as your profile right so it uh, because the earlier profile is uh, hidden inside the drawing that's why so i am going to create the profile we profile now so we have we can do the profile very easily not like alignment so i will select this option and go to draw tangents so i'll start at the end sorry at the start so it's better to start from the zero so it's better to snap to the end so i will Click this object snap and I'll make sure my endpoint step is turned on. So you should have a check mark here. So if you don't have, you have to click here and make that checked. And now I am going to come to the end and I'm going to start the profile view. Now I will close here. So turn off the object snaps. Now I am going to create a profile on top of this area so i am going down here a little bit you will understand why i go down here later i will going somewhere up here and i come like here somewhere here so this is only for the explanation so when you are doing work with real world you may have to do these things more carefully by looking at the site and everything and completing this just only for demonstration right so i will click here and when i come to the end i have to catch the end as well so i click here to turn on the object snaps and i click here and press enter now you can see my alignment is profile is created you have the labels here so this is your gradient minus 2.5 2.01 gradient here 1.09 gradient this is the labels at grade breaks that means your elevation at this point is 29.202 and the change or the station at this point is 2000 123.5 likewise you get all those details so if you want to add curves to this profile you can use use this option this curve option and go to more free vertical curves free vertical parabola pvi based so it is asking what is the pvi point so i'll click here these are called the pvi point these changing points so i select my first pvi point 
and it is asking what is your curve length so you have to select some type of curve length for this curve so these curve lengths and gradients are all uh, related with highway engineering some so if you are using these things to create or design a road you have to follow these guidelines as well since this is a starter video section or a beginner section i am not going to do any details on that so i am going to use 40 as my curve length so you will see it will add the 40 meter curve and change these two gradients with the curve in the middle so without pressing escape you can go go to the other curve and we i made another curve 50 meter and you can select here and go to other curve i like select this at 60 meter so likewise you can add more curves i will add 100 meter curve here and so if you have 100 meter curve it, that curve will end somewhere here so if you are going to add another curve to this one that curve length should not uh, overlap with this curve length if the curve lengths are overlapping with each other it will not let you add a curve to this station so let me show you that so i am clicking this station so it is asking for the curve length i will give a higher curve length here like 500 so you will see it can't be added so it says no solution available because the 500 curve length will interfere with the curve here so i will only add uh, 50 meter curve here so we will add a 100 meter curve here and once you have done all these things we will right click and you will see all the curves are added now you can see the curve details like curve length here low point station high point station so many details are here so uh, that is how you add curves so you can now see why i add this pvi point somewhere here below the ground because when you are adding the curve length it is coming somewhere up so once we edit the curves we will edit the profile uh, we will see how to get this more up right that is how to create a new profile in civil 3d so in the next section we will see how to edit this profile or modify this profile so that we get better view and better display of data on the profile